Well, born in the USA, fighting for his freedom, a Valley veteran is asking the federal government to declare him a U.S. citizen. He explains to Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez how he got to this point. The Bronzeville man tells us he's been in legal limbo for eight years. It started in 2011 when he petitioned for his mother. Since then, two agencies, the USCIS office and the Department of State, started looking closely to determine whether he was really born in the United States. Born in Bronzeville, delivered by a midwife, he was brought up in Mexico near Matamoros. It's a border upbringing similar to many who share ties with those across the international boundary. The case isn't public yet, so we'll call him Peter. His parents took Peter back into Mexico and registered him there after he was born. He tells us it was for medical reasons. Peter came back to the U.S. when he was 18. He joined and served one tour of duty in Afghanistan and later the National Guard. In 2011, he petitioned for his mother. In 2013, he married and brought his wife over from Mexico. During this time, when he or his mom crossed ports of entry, they would be pulled into secondary inspection. Like my mom would cross and they would detain her. Ma'am, tell us the truth. We know you paid, you know, you illegally paid for that, for that uh, certificate. We know he was born in Mexico, tell us the truth. My mom would be like, no, no, I was born there. I gave birth in the United States. In 2014, USCIS found his Mexican birth certificate. They told him they intended to deny the request to bring his wife into the U.S. Eventually, though, she was approved. The secondary inspections stopped for a while until last year. I was detained for 15 hours and it, uh, they told me that the State Department were que was questioning my, my citizenship and uh, it was kind of weird because I had never applied for a passport. He wasn't sure what would happen next. They were telling me they were calling their supervisors to decide whether I would go, I would go to an uh, immigration detention center. They were mentioning Bayview. His attorney, Jaime Diaz, tells us he believes USCIS shared their discovery of his Mexican birth certificate with the Department of State. It is not unusual um, because now my, my experience has been that the agencies communicate between them without letting the person know and, uh, and then they don't correct the records. Diaz believes the Department of State was not told Peter had cleared the USCIS investigation because the Department of State started its own probe. For Peter, it resulted in yet another time he's had to prove he's from the U.S. You cannot just ask a person to prove 20 different times the same issue because what happens if you have one agency say yes and then the other one say no. Peter says being detained is emotionally trying. It's really traumatic because I'm a disabled veteran and I have PTSD and I was detained for 15 hours uh, my kids were taken from me because, you know, they had to process me, so I had to call somebody to take and pick up my kids from the bridge because I was coming back from Matamoros with my kids. He doesn't want to go through another similar experience. He's asking the federal government to declare him a U.S. citizen and issue a passport. Diaz says he believes the Department of State is getting ready to deny his passport. They sent Peter what Diaz calls a midwife package that asked him to prove he was born in the United States yet again. Normally, the government cannot comment on ongoing legal cases. We are requesting a statement on background on this story from the Department of State and the USCIS office in Harlingen. We'll share the response if we receive it. In the studio, Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 6.